I'm live. Hi, welcome to my live stream. I'm Danielle. Total body strength workout today. We're going to get started in about one more minute. This is my first YouTube live stream, so I'm just going to try it out and see how it goes. Um, but needed. I'm going to use a set of light, medium, and heavy. So today's workout, total body strength. We've got um, 10 sections in all, including a warm-up and a cool-down. So each, each section focuses on a different muscle group, um, starting with the largest muscle group, so legs, for example, and we work through total body. So it'll be between four to six minutes on each muscle group, okay? And I'll give lots of options, modifications, so whatever fitness level that you're at, just feel free to take it at your own level, all right? And have fun and stay hydrated as well. Let's get into our workout. So for our warm up, we're gonna do more of a dynamic warm up and you don't need any uh, equipment for this. We'll just get the body warm and get into it. Roll the shoulders. Nice deep breath, stand up tall. Inhale the arms up and pull down, good. Step and change. So just bend the knees side to side. Add a single arm overhead reach. Four, three, two. Now reach across, stretching the shoulder and the mid back. Lift the heel. Hamstring curls. And four, three. Feet together, step squat, other side. Reach the hips back, chest up. Now add the arms, reach and pull. Stretch the back, squeeze shoulder blades. Good, left leg back, lunge and lift, static lunge. Reach the back knee to the floor. Now add the arms, reach and pull. Big arms, warming the shoulders. From the top, reaching stretch. Make the movement bigger this round. Reach across, starting to elevate the heart rate. Four, three, two, hamstring curls. Kick your butt, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Chest up. Eight, seven, three, two, Single knee lifts. Lift. Pull your arms down and crunch your core. That's it. Eight, seven, four, three. Back to our step squat. Reach and pull. Again, make the movement bigger and more dramatic this round. Keeping the body warm. These two. Now we'll take the opposite leg back, lunge, static. You hip with apart, down and up. Four, three, two. Good, feet apart, arm circles. We'll nail the arms. I don't have a lot of room to in my basement. <laughs> Trying not to hit the ceiling. <laughs> Reverse, keep your hips steady, and square to the front. Three, two, and one. Squat low and round your back, roll <sighs> Great job. Okay, body's warm. We're gonna get right into the weights. I want you to pick your heaviest set of weight for our first set, lower body. We've got two sets of work, regular squats in a mid stance that's gonna work our quads, the front of our legs. And then we'll go into a wider stance to work the glutes and side glutes. And in between, we'll have a little bit of metabolic conditioning. All right, so pick up your weights carefully. Weights are on your, on your shoulders or at your sides, whatever's comfortable. Mid stance, so feet just outside the hips and toes turn out slightly. Chest up, ready, here we go. Down, down, up, up. So reach your hips back, knees behind the toes. You want to be in the video? All right, your kids can join in too. That's okay. 
family workout. We've got all four cats down here. My daughter and my husband's hiding over in the corner. He doesn't want to be in my video. So we got a full house here. Okay, we got it. Let's pick up this pace. Singles. Down and up. Squeeze your butt. Make sure the knees don't go in front of the toes. Chest out. Four. And three. Good job. Woo. Two. Next tempo, drop and hold. Hold. Two. One. Push up through the heel. Do it again. Drop and stop. Good. Feel that tension building in your thighs. Woo. Now here comes our combo. Four singles. Four. Three. Two. Now drop it down and pulse. Eight. Seven. Little pulses. Stay low. Can you get your thighs parallel to the ground? Two. We got one more set. Singles. Woo! Feel the thighs. Legs are warm. And pulse. Eight. Seven. Come on. Stay low. Lower. Two. Yeah, there you go. Hold. Slowly release. Set your weights down. This is our metabolic conditioning. It's that step squat from the warm up. Chest is up. This is level one. You want to make it harder, you add a jump. Go. Down and up. Woo. Now we feel the legs. Squat low. Four, three, two, last one. Hold. Round two, we do it again. This time, pick up your weights. Okay, wide stance now. Woo. Chest up. Ready? From the top. Down, down, up, up. So wide stance. This now is targeting our glutes. Catch your breath here. Singles. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Relax your shoulders. The wider stance allows us to get deeper into the squat while still maintaining an upright posture. Four. Three. Two. Next tempo. Drop and hold. Hold. Two. One. Lift. Drop, hold. Stay here. Hold it. Push through the floor. Two more. Knees track out over the second and third toe. Push up through the outer edges of your foot. Singles. Four. Three. Two. Drop and pulse. Ah, almost there. Seven. Six. Come on, hang on to that muscle tension. It's a little tough now. Release. Four singles. Four. Woo. Two. Pulse finish. Eight. Seven. Come on, hang on to it. Hang on to that heat. This is what creates change. Two, one, slowly release. Weights down. Here we go, here we go. Metabolic conditioning. Remember, it's a step to the side to side. Or, if you're looking for more cardio, we add the jump. Squat low. Remember, we're not bringing the chest forward. We're keeping it up. So load the legs. That's it. Keep it up. And four. Come on, big one. Two. Last one. And hold. Yes. That was that one. How do you feel? Great start, you guys. Our next set, we're moving down to the floor. So if you've got a mat, grab it or a rug, whatever works. Check it out. We've got push-ups and chest flies. We'll start with the push-ups. And you can grab a set of medium weight or the chest flies. All right, let's begin with push-ups. I'll give you some options here as well. Bring your hands out wide, just outside the shoulders. Knees or toes. Brace your core. Slow tempo, two and two. Down, down, up, up. Look slightly in front of the mat. Keep the neck and spine aligned. 
four is tight. It's slightly lifted. Singles. Four. Three. Remember, you can drop to the knees at any time. And pulse. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Woo! Two. Back to singles. Four. If you're going to bring your knees in closer to modify. Two. Pulse to finish. Here's eight. Seven. Six. Stay in it. Good. Three. Two. One. Eight. Drop the knees. Roll over. Grab your waist. Chest flies next. Weights above the shoulders. We go down, down, up, and up. Good. Belly button to the spine. This is soft, bend in the elbows. And your palms face each other. I want you to kind of like pretend you're hugging a big tree. Don't let your arms touch the floor. You want to protect the shoulders. Good. Slow. Squeeze as you lift. All right, hold it at the top. Here comes our combo. Two singles. Two singles. Now pulse at the bottom. Three, two, one. Do it again. Two singles. So full range. The more you bend your elbows, the easier it is here. Three, two, two singles. So try to straighten out your arms if you can to create more tension in the chest. Keep it going. Down, up, down. One more set. Down, up, down, up. Three, two, one. Hold. Waist down, roll top. Grab the backs of your thighs. Round two. So all of these, it's two exercises. We do it two times. All right. So you know what's coming. Knees or toes. Ready? Woo. We go down. Down, push through the floor. Now this round should be a lot tougher. Results come at the end. So we push through. How are you doing? Down, up, up. Singles, two singles, listen. And pulse. Three, two, one. Do it again, come on. Two singles, push. Push through the floor, pulse. Three, two. We got two more to go, you can do it, come on. Down, and push, do your best. Pulse. Three, two, one. Here's the last one. Let's go, down, and push. Look in front of your mat. Three, two, one, hold. Wow, one more set right away. Let's get those flies done. Then we'll take a quick stretch. Two and two when you're ready. Down for two, smooth and squeeze as you lift. Good. It's okay to bend the elbows slightly. Keep the movement circular. Your palms are facing each other. And the combo. Two singles. Down and up. Pulse bottom. Three. Two, one. Stay with it. Strong core. Yeah. Small, tight movement. Stay in control. Up. Triple pulse. We're almost there. Give me one more set. Ugh. Yes. Down. Up. Down. Now pulse. And hold. Release your weight and roll top. Oh, great job. Let's bring the hands behind and open the chest here. Lift your chest up tall. We're moving on now to the back side of the body. For this one, I want you to, again, go back to your heaviest weights. All right, our move. Adjust my screen here up a little bit higher. There we go. We're going to start with a deadlift, and then we'll be adding on a dead row, and then we've got a single squat press. So again, we're combining strength training with metabolic conditioning. Hey, Oreo. 
Stay in a tall, good job. Roll the shoulders down and back. Put your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. It's gonna to start with a dead row, just a dead or to deadlift. Reach your hips to the back of the room. Down, down. Now we add a single row at the bottom. Ooh. Back is flat, elbows high, squeeze it in. Elbows squeeze inward. This should feel right between your shoulder blades. I think we're ready to add on. Take it down for a triple row. Three, two, one, release and stand. Do it again. Squeeze. Elbows high. One more set. Seven. Hinge. Seven. Six. Control on the way down. Last one. Release and stand. Set one weight down. Single squat press. Squat. Squat. Push, push. Get the full range here. Okay, now we got it. We're gonna go a little quicker. Singles. If you can, come up on your toes. Down and push. Squeeze your butt. Eight more. Eight. Seven. And stay with it. Come on, just really be driving up the heart right here. Squat and push, full range, two. Last one, up hold, release. One more round, let's do it again. Deadlift, down, down, up, easy. Okay, we add in a single row right away. Hinge, hold, release, and up. Keep your back flat. Core is tight to support your low back. Right into triples now. Bring it down. Three, two, one. Release and stand. Three. Feel the heat right between your shoulder blades. Crush them together. We got two more. Three. Crush. Yeah. Feels good. This is so good for your posture. Especially if you do a lot of sitting, this helps strengthen our back muscles. And stand. Set one way down. Back to squat press. Squat. Lift. Take your time. Single squat press. 16. 15. Come on, push your energy into this here. This is where we burn calories. We burn fat and we create lean, strong muscle. It takes a little bit of work, it takes endurance. Down and push. Woo! Come on, we're almost there. Here's four big ones. On your toes if you can. I don't want to hit the ceiling. <laughs> Last one. Excellent job. Set your waist down and let's stretch. Palms together, mid back stretch. Feels good. Arms in goal post position. Twist through your spine. Okay, roll the shoulders. Next up, we're going into some arm work. You're going to need one medium to heavy weight plate for this one. If you have a couch, a chair, a bench, you can use that here. Two moves here tricep dips, tricep extensions. Use that one. One. Okay. Come down to your bench. Have your weight close by, ready to go. Two rounds, dips and tricep overhead extensions. So let's start by lifting our chest up nice and proud, shoulders away from the ears. 
This is where we want to keep the shoulders for the entire workout. Down and back. Core is braced. Bring your hips just slightly in front. Here we go. Down, down, up, up. So keeping our chest up, bend your elbow to the back of the room. Keep your hips super close to the bed. Just about an inch or two away. Check it out. That's going to keep the load in our tricep. Good. Now, if this is a little bit too much, you can have a seat on your bench and hinge backwards, bending the elbows. Keeping the back straight. Four tight. Here comes our combination. Two singles. Triple pulse. Let's go. Triple pulse. Three, two, one. Two singles. Down, up, down, now pulse. Shoulders away from the ears, elbows straight to the back of the room. Good. This gets a little tough. There's a lot of resistance for this exercise, so it's very specific. Triple pulse to finish. Three, two, one. Have a seat. Check it out. Grab your weight. Cross your legs, let your knees fall open in a relaxed position. Bring your weight to the collarbone. Push it straight up, shoulders down and back. Down, down, up, just like that. Keep your elbows pointing forward. Try to keep your arms close to your ears. This is what isolates the back of the arms, the tricep. It takes a lot of work to change the shape of this muscle, okay? Singles, down, up. Keep going with singles. Keep your body still and core is really tight. Four, three, two. Last one we hold on, hold it here. Pulse up. Little pulses. Come on, stay in it. All the way to the base of your neck. Pulsing the bottom range. Oh, that is a burner. Woo. Four, three, two, one. Extend. One more. Remember, this is where the results come. When we're under fatigue, we're outside of our comfort zone. That's how we get change in the muscles. Chest up and smile. Let's go. Down, down, up, up. Step by step. It's getting hard now. Now listen, we're gonna do that combination with just two times. Two singles, triple pulse. Let's go. Down, up, down, triple pulse. Three, two. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Ugh. Triple pulse to finish. This is it. Three and two, one. Stop. Ugh. Okay. Let's finish with the extensions. Wait, collarbone. Press it straight up. Ready? Two and two. One strong arms. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed. Pause. Singles. Eight. Seven. Woo! Four. Three. Listen up. We're almost there. Stay with me. Now hold this last one at the bottom. Hold it. Pulse up. Wow. Great set. Set your weight down and let's stretch. Just press back on the elbow. Feels good. Other side. How are you guys doing so far? We're going to continue our arm work and work biceps next. I want you to pick out medium weights for this one. Biceps. We'll start out basic and I'll, I'll add on. All right, shoulder roll, elbows into your waist, up, up, down, and down. So we really want to focus on keeping the body still. Maintain a strong upper body position to really isolate the biceps. Hold in the middle. Hold, two, one, release. Hold. So, elbow right underneath the shoulder. 
hold. We're gonna add on to this a side rotation. Check it out. Lift, out, in, and down. Lift. So keep your elbows locked into place. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. This works our rotator cuff. Four more. Lift, rotate, in, and down. Good, chest is up. Now hold in the middle, alternating singles. Right, left. Rotate as you lift. Now both arms pulse, pulse in the middle. Eight, seven. Keeping the body really still. Keep yourself grounded, bend the knees. Back to singles. Four, focus on the supination here. Big rotation. Pulse in the middle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, and slowly release. Quick little break in the middle here. We've got one more set. Roll out the shoulders. All right, pick up your weights. This time, anchor your elbows into your sides. Wide curl, up, up, down, down. So anchor your elbows to get into your side so they remain still and we isolate the bicep. Lift, lift. Now we bring it to the middle and hold. Hold. Two, one, release. Hold. It's getting tough now. Now we add the rotation. The next one, you're going to do this. You're going to bring it in and out. Let's go. Up, in, out, down. Woo. Keep the weights parallel to the ground here. Uh, yeah, four more. In, out, and down. Bend your knees and tuck your hips under to engage the core. I feel this too. 10 pounds, not easy. Now we got that combo, alternate singles to the front here. Four, three. Keep your body still, don't swing the arms. Lift and pulse. Woo! All right, to finish, we got two singles here. Right, left, pulse. Three, two, one. That's our combo. To the end. Woo, we're almost there. Stay with me. We got two more sets. Up, down, up, and pulse. Three, two, one. Last time, last time. Hold. All the way up and slowly down. Four. Mm. Set your weights down. <sighs> thumbs up. Rotate thumbs down. That feels great. Forearm stretch. Moving right along in our workout today, we've got lunges. For this one, you can pick a small or medium size plate or dumbbell. Um, and you can set it down at any time. If you're new, don't use any weight at all for this one. Move my mat out of the way. You're going to need room behind you for a static lunge. So you're going to come to the front of your space. So two moves here. It's a static lunge with some variations in our tempo and timing. And then we've also got a wide squat. Okay? That's going to really hard target the hips and thighs. It's a great one, and we're going to lift the heart rate up on this one, too, okay? So take it at your own level. Take what options you need. Sound good? Okay, let's begin. You're going to take one leg back. Hold the weight in the opposite hand. So I've got my left leg forward, and I'm holding the weight in my right hand. Test up. Feet hip width apart. We go. Down, down, up, up. Smooth. Down. Legs make two 90 degree angles. Reach the back knee to the floor. Knee does not go in front of the toe. Down, down. Singles. Down, up. Singles, we start to lift the heart rate. Do you feel the heart rate going up? Try to get low in your lunge. Reach back knee to the floor. Two. Combination, two singles. Down, 
Up. Triple toss. Three, two. You're going to take your time here. Down. We push up through the front heel. Two. We got two more. Down. Up. And pulse. Three, two. Now step wide. Wide squat. Down. Down. Up, up. Again, we're pushing through the outer edges of the foot. Knees track out over the second and third toe. Keep your chest up as you go down. Should we pick it up? Single. Eight. Squat low here. It's going to really target your booty. Woo. It takes work. Remember, 70% of your muscle mass is in your lower body. So really put in the work here. So you're going to rub up the metabolism. Down and pulse. Long center. Stay here. Pulse. Okay, this is where it gets tough. This is where I need your commitment. Pulse low. Come on, we got eight more. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Test up. Two, one. Ooh, that was a good burn. To the other side. Opposite leg is forward. Two and two when you're ready. Down. You can have your arm out for balance. If that helps. Avoid leaning forward or back. We want to stay straight up and down like a carousel horse going up and down on a pole. Nice and easy. So drive up through the front heel. Singles. Down and up. Core is tight. Hips and shoulders square to the front. Don't put too much weight on that back leg. Think of this a little kickstand. Keep your feet on a railroad track and not a tight rope. Two singles. Let's go. Down. Up. Triple pulse. Three. Two. Do it again. Oh. Oh. Triple pulse. Come on, we got two more. Let's get low. Your big movement. And up. This is our endurance phase. Three, two. Come on, one more. Takes work to get results. Push yourself. Three, two. One. Right away. We got one more set of these. Ah, good work. Singles. Let's cross the finish line together here. It's going to get a little bit tough. Your legs are fatigued, but remember, this is where we create new muscle. The more muscle you have, the quicker your metabolism, even when you're resting. So let's do this together. You ready? 16. Oh, little pulses. Don't bounce. I want you to stay low. Push out of your heel and the outer edge of your foot. I lost count. Where are we at? Let's keep going. Yeah, eight, seven, yes you can. Don't quit on me. Three, two, one. Mm. Wow, how was that? Did really good, it's not easy. Quick stretch for the legs. We've got shoulders next, and then we'll finish with uh, some floor work at the end of class, add some floor work. Floor work. For shoulders, we've got one set of reverse flies that we're going to start with. We grab a mat for that. I know we got some standing side and front raises and shoulder press. We're going to pick out light weights for this one. All right, check it out. So you're going to bring one leg forward. Chest is over the thigh, and we bring the elbows wide. Sound good? Set up. Lean forward. We go up, up, down, and down. So palms face the back of the room. You're going to squeeze your shoulder blades as you lift. Control on the way down. Let's take it up and hold. Squeeze. Two. Release. Again. Up, hold. Good, two more. Hold, squeeze.
seven. Feel the back of your shoulders working. This is a smaller muscle group. So weight should not be super heavy. Crush your shoulder blades together. Elbows wide as you can. Wide. Up and hold. Only two this time. Hold. Hold. Release. Again, one more. Up, hold. Squeeze together. We're back to singles. Just give me four singles. Four. Lean forward to target the posterior deltoid. Back in the shoulder. Up and hold. Last two. Release. Give me one more. One more. Lean forward. Hold it. Hold. And release. Come to standing. Bend your elbows to 90 degrees. We go up. Up. Elbows lead. So this is working the medial belt. Sculpting and shaping the shoulders. Push your shoulders down away from your ears. Anchor your body into the floor. Now raise to the front. Up. Up. Weights no higher than the shoulders. Chest up. Feel your core as you lower and lift the weights. It should be really stable. Just the brace when you lift. Let's take it back to the side. To the front for two. Up. Up. Down. Up. Come back to the side. Control. Resist on the way down. Not swaying. Soften the knees. Tuck your hips under to brace the core. Oh, it's getting hard, eh? Do four more. Yeah. Four. Three. Three. Yeah, here we go. You got this. Sculpting and shaping beautiful shoulders. Last one. Hold. Waist to shoulders. Oh, this gets really hard. Lift. Lower. Now hold it here. Alternate singles. Eight. Seven. Elbow stays in line with the shoulder. No lower. Two. Now both arms for two. Yes, you can. Lift. Lower. Alternate singles. Two. Both arms. Alternate. Now to finish, push press, squat press. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. This works the whole shoulder. It's supposed to be hard. Four. Three. Come on, this is it. Two. Last one, up and hold. Hold. Uh, slowly bring the weights down and release. Amazing work. Tops that for the shoulders. Pull the shoulder down and across. So we'll take it to the other side. We're going to finish with core and some work on the floor. So come on down to your mat. We're going to start with upper and lower abs. Bring your arms wide. Lift your hips over your knees. We lift up, up, down and tap. Up, up. Now add the upper body. So combination crunch. Lift, lift, down and tap. Elbows wide. Tuck your chin and look between your knees. Please. Now hold at the top, triple pulse. Three, two, reach for your heels. Do it again. And three, two, everything taps down. Crunch it, keep it tight in the middle. Two, one, and tap. Next move is a twist, alternating. We twist front, back, front, back. Legs no less than 90 degrees. Keep your low back super glued to the floor, elbows wide. Here's two. We keep going. Make it a double pulse. Two, one. Change sides. So pulse, pulse. Other side. Let's make the second pulse a little bit bigger. Reach chest to outer thigh. 
Last one from the top. Upper lower combination crunch. Ready? Begin. Squeeze. Down and tap. Lightly tap the floor. Look between your knees. Singles, a little quicker. Eight. Seven. Feel how the heart rate goes up when we move a little quicker. Lightly tap the floor. Keep your low back down. Keep your ribcage closed as you tap. Ten, two. Now all the legs up. Triple pulse. Three, three, two, one. Everything taps down. Come on, two more. Two, one, and tap. Three, two, that's it. Twist, single, twist. If you want to make this harder, you can extend the back leg for a full bicycle. About 45 degrees. Advance, leg can go lower for more resistance. Two, one, double pulse. Pulse and change. Little pulse, big pulse. Little pulse, big pulse. Working the rotational muscles, the obliques. Breathe. And two, one. Hold in the middle. Hold. Now reach and pulse. We're going to pulse to the end. Look between the knees. Slide ribs to hips. Reach. Stay in it. Four, three, two, hold. Release. When you're ready, roll over in the hover position. Come back to your thighs. Elbows are underneath the shoulders. Coming into a hover. So adjust my back here. There we go. Elbows under the shoulders. Now, if you're new, you're going to stay here on your knees. This is a modified plank. Push your forearms into the ground. Shoulders away from the ears. Otherwise, up on the toes for advanced. Now, whether you're on your knees or your toes, we're going to add on to this. We're going to add side tap. Front leg. Four. Three. Push your forearms into the ground. Just a light little tap. Back leg. Four. And three. Don't let your hips come up high like a ten, buddy. Back to the front. Four. Three. Two. Back leg. Four. Three. Two. Now just hold it in the middle. Hold it here. Push arms and legs into the ground. Reach heels back. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your thighs. Four. Three. Two. And drop. All the way down. Now, what I want you to do, come down. Whenever we work our core, it's good to work our back as well. We're going to just finish with some back work, and then we'll stretch and be done. Are you okay? Things are getting crazy here. So I want you to bring your fingers to the temple, and we lift. Keep your toes on the floor. We go up, up, down, down. Lift, lift, down, squeeze your butt. Squeeze. All right, get ready. We're going to add on to this. We're going to lift and then extend the arms to airplane. So it's lift, out, in, and down. Lift, out, in, and down. So just the upper body. Squeeze your thighs. Keep your belly button close to the spine. Now, optional, try adding your legs here. Go up, arms and legs open, in and down, up. This works the whole back side of your body and your core. Should we do four more? Let's do it. Up, out, in, and down. Thighs just off the floor. All right, last one. We're doing so good. Up. Out, in, and down. From here, just do a nice child's pose and stretch. Go ahead, reach your hips to heels. All right, we're going to finish with a nice stretch and cool down. That's it, we made it. You guys flew through that one today. So, child's pose. Baby, I'm not even 
Walk your hands to the right and shift your hips to the left. Feeling a stretch to the side of your body. Take it to the other side. Shift your hips in the opposite direction. Back to the center. Bring one leg forward. Reach the hips forward. Opposite arm reaches up to the ceiling. Take it across the leg. Gently twist. Look over the back shoulder for a deeper stretch. Extend the arm. Shift your weight to the back leg. Front hamstring stretch. Lift your tailbone to deepen the stretch. The leg is soft. As you exhale, intensify the stretch. It feels good. Opposite leg forward. On the front, gently twist. Option to extend the back arm for a deeper stretch. Hamstring. Shift your weight right back. Hike your glutes. Soften the front knee. Just relax and breathe into the stretch. Just prepare to standing. Balance. Good. And stretch your quad. I'm cutting off my head here. Let me adjust this. Other leg. Balance. Up. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for my first YouTube live video. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to keep posting workouts and videos online. Drop one leg behind, up and over. So check back for my Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, Danielle Moore Fitness. Lots of different workouts and stuff. And let me know if you have any questions, any requests. Um, yeah, and remember, every day I do a 3 p.m. five-minute workout on my Facebook live. So, oh, there he is. He's going to make an appearance. Good, quick back stretch here. Tuck your chin and open the chest. And then class, give yourselves a hand, virtual high five. Thanks for joining me, you guys. And have a great weekend. Happy Saturday. Woo! Stay safe and healthy.